Welcome to disc number two of Secrets of Champions 5. When we talk about roads to victory, I obviously spent a lot of time on the road gathering the film you see here. And when you visit dozens of fanciers, sometimes three a day, it's hard to capture all the detail you'd like to. But if anything, after seeing the profiles on our first disc, I hope you too understand the enormous variety of lofts, methods, and management styles that are winning today. It makes me even more amazed at how magnificent and adaptable racing pigeons are and how some can rise to become champions from so many different environments. In the upcoming program, the goal was to bring you the latest thinking of top trainers on feed, motivation, and young bird methods. And I wanted to share a couple of thought-provoking observations you'll probably hear more about in the years ahead. But first, what's on the mind of some of these top competitors when it comes to the most essential element of powering a winning athlete, fuel? I think you'll be interested in what they have to say about Fat Thursday. It must be all correct. Uh, the food and the training are really the most important thing in every sport. So why should it uh, be different than pigeon sport? It just, it, it's not. There are three main components to the pigeon food. There's your protein, your fat, and carbohydrates. Of course, there's other things in there. There's your, your minerals and your vitamins. But what you really need to think about is the big three. Protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Different races need different percentages of these mixtures. Proteins has to do everything with building. What is building? Building is recuperation, for example, after a race. Building is breeding. Building is malting. That's all building. Those are the bricks. I think pigeon, pigeon racing is a simple enough method. It's made difficult by fanciers. And, and I always work along the basis of um, when they return from a race, they need to recover the muscles from the exertion. By doing that, you give them protein. During the week, after you've given them the protein, they want carbohydrates. And at the end of the week, they want the fats, which gives them the energy. The show is already that proteins is for building, breeding, malting, and so on, recuperation, and that fats are effective for uh, performing for energy for racing season. Uh, you're going back in 1999 when basically carbohydrate feeding in this country was just starting, and. With the young birds, when we put it on, it was like a new thing. It had all started. Fats, carbohydrates, nobody had really heard about it. Years ago, and I'm saying maybe 10 years ago, a lot of fanciers who would what they called carbohydrate load prior to the race. And it normally meant up to 60, 65% maize in a, in a widowed mixture. And the last two or three days of the week to load the pigeon with sugars. But then, we wasn't really that aware that fats were the main fuel for flying. The difference between, between the human sports uh, is that uh, in the human sports, uh, the, 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 the athlete, he can eat uh, while he's cycling uh, every hour if he wants to, every half an hour. But for a bird, it's uh, not possible. You have to put all energy in the tank before it's leaving. And that's uh, a little difference. Uh, that's a little different. So I started or we started uh, to try to find out how it works and uh, we started with it uh, with the birds that are flying uh, during winter or summer from one to the other continent. Uh, they are flying for hours, hours, hours. They don't eat uh, either. Uh, so we tried to find out how that system uh, works and it was a little bit different. Uh, we found out that they are using uh, fatty acids and not uh, carbohydrates. Uh, so we tried to stock as much as possible fatty acids in the birds. Carbohydrates are a form of natural sugars and it's the natural sugars that gives them the short burst of speed whether it's escaping from a hawk, leaving the transporter, trying to gain height. It's the natural sugars that do that. But once they've actually gained that height or evaded the hawk, they then go back onto the, the, the main fuel which is fat. And fat burns at a steady rate with sugar 
burns at a very fast rate. To come out of the basket, uh, the, birds, uh, will, the bird will need uh, energy. Uh, he uses uh, sugar and the white muscles to come out of the basket to win height and to win uh, speed. Once uh, the bird uh, is on that speed, it will go over to the glycogen uh, to use uh, as energy. It's flying uh, fast on the sugars with the glycogen, the speed is going a little bit down. After one hour, the bird starts to use only fatty acids. At that moment, the speed is, going, is slowing down a little bit as well. Fat is pure energy to perform. Be careful, I didn't say that during a breeding and a molting pigeons don't need fat, I didn't say that. But it's more important to have a good protein level than a good fat level. And in the racing season it's good to have a good fat level than a good pro protein level. That's very important. Fats. Without the fats, they can barely fly 500 miles because they've run out of fuel. But with the fats they can fly. They, they can realise their, their potential basically. They have to be bred to fly it. But then the, it's like having, a, having a, a Ferrari or a Mercedes car and putting no fuel in it. It'll only go a certain distance. You know, and it's exactly the same with these. Don't matter how well they're bred if they've got no fuel. And the fats is the fuel. It used to be thought that it was all sugars. But it's not sugars, it's soon used. And then it's all whole fats after that. The fat capacity is about uh, 27 grams, uh, but it depends on the condition of the bird as well, you know. A bird that is in a very good condition and a very good shape, it will uh, use less. Uh, if you know a bird uh, uses uh, carbohydrates only for one hour, for the rest they are using fatty acids, then you can make the calculation. Uh, you know if the bird has to fly six hours, you will know you will need 18 grams of fatty acids. That's uh, because the birds are using three grams uh, an hour to fly. You, with sprint pigeons, if you overdo the fats, it definitely slows them down. You basically only need to top them up. Where long distance pigeons, they need it over a longer period of time. So it's like a reserve fuel you're using, not a quick burst fuel. For short uh, distance you only need uh, carbohydrates, so you better take uh, or make a mixture uh, with uh, not that much uh, fatty grains and seeds in it. Uh, you better take uh, maize and things like that. It's long chain uh, carbohydrates, uh, so on that uh, level, on the carbohydrates, the birds uh, will fry the fast. The problem is you can only do a stockage for one hour. After that hour you have to change to fatty acids. The, bet, the best burning fatty acids are the short uh, fatty acids. They are used by the bird in another way as the long uh, chain uh, fatty acids. Every bird that needs to fly it is using energy. So it's very important to know what energy a bird uses. Uh, first 10 minutes they are using sugars. After that they are using carbohydrates and after one hour they are starting to burn fatty acids. Fatty acids they can go uh, as long as they want. They use them for about three grams uh, uh, for one hour to fly. So you can know more or less if you have a competition and you can do the calculation and the bird will maybe fly six hours, you know you will need at least 18 grams of fatty acids to get rid in time uh, from, uh, from uh, the competition. They need to be um, in good condition when they come out of the basket as well as when they, they need to be good obviously when they go in. But it's better if they're on a rising plane and they come out uh, better than when they went in or at least the equal. And I think that is why if you build up in the last four feeds or if it was an extreme distance, maybe the last six feeds, that's absorbed into the body, you know, while they're away. You don't really need to know much about the feed to get your pigeons home from a race, but to get that extra percentage performance out of them and to put you in the top 1% of the resort 
you really need to make a, an effort to look at it and see exactly what it is you're giving them. If you give the fatty acids today, you will know the best energy in it will be 24 hours till 48 hours behind you have uh, feed the fatty acids. So if your bird has to fly on Saturday, you make them on uh, Donderdag, how do you say? Uh, uh, if your bird has to fly on Saturday, then it's uh, a good thing to put as much as you can fatty acids in the bird on Thursday because it needs 24 hours, 80, uh, 48 uh, before uh, the glycogen is using, is, is on its best. So that's the best energy for the bird. He can fly fast, very fast on that energy.